I'm Brad Schumacher. Today I'm here to share with you three critical aspects of things that you can do on your own without water to be successful in the pool. We talked about core strength. Now we're gonna move on to stretching. We combine the core strength to warm up the body and then we move into stretching. Another very critical aspect of things that we can do outside of the pool to increase our performance. We've warmed up the body a bit and now we're gonna stretch it out. In this situation, Wolf is grabbing around his knees, intertwined with his fingers, and hugging his knee towards his chest. As he becomes more flexible, he'll pull the chest further into his body, hold it for 10 to 15 full seconds before switching legs. Note the opposite leg not being pulled into the chest. His foot is flexed, and he's driving the leg and the knee to the ground. This keeps the back centered on the ground and keeps us in line. What we don't want to do is cheat and have our hip rise off the ground. During any abdominal strengthening or stretching, it's very important that you remain with a steady breath. This will allow you to get deeper into the stretches. It'll allow you to push more weight. It'll allow you to do more core exercises. Breathing is a very critical part of any exercise. The next stretch we have will really open up your hips called the ankle crossover, and will really allow you to get your knee up super close and high to the water to really help you get up as high as you can in your egg beater. As you see, again, the right leg is engaged, straight, foot, big toe flexed towards your shin, driving the knee down, keeping the hip on the ground. The left leg is turned in over the right hip and making sure you're pulling in in a balanced and clean way. Next, we have the figure four. Wolf will bend his knee up, grab it in, tuck it down against his hip. Notice he puts the arm out to the side. He can move it in different positions to really elongate the stretch. Hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. Again, right leg is flexed, driving the hip into the ground and really focusing on getting that leg as flat as possible. Note. When he pulls his foot up, his hands over top, and he's continuing to flex both feet. His arm is straight out, and he's flexing both feet, and his heel is connected to his hip. The ultimate goal in this stretch is to get the knee all the way to the floor. For those who are super flexible, they can touch the side of the quad to the floor. We've talked about core strength, stretching. Now we're going to head into forearm strength. This is very critical. It can help our shooting. It can help us go over our hips. This is a very important part of the overall strength of a water polo player's body.